that's it, she's in, but she's dragging on something now. Right, I'll have to take her off a minute. I'll put one of those angles on too tight. She's dragging the outside. Hey, right, take well it off. Again. Another day, following morning now from when I left off in the last bit. So we've got this all fettled up. But we're going to do one more thing to it, and that's to put a little detail along this edge. Because of well, the square edges, you could run it over with a soft pad or something, but we've got a little machine and we're going to put a chamfer on it. It's a clever little machine, it's like a router that you use for wood and you put your different bits in and you know a chamfering bit in a round over or something like that. All this does is it's a chamfering bit because it actually has a... Uh, one of those uh, disposable tools that you put in a lathe for uh, cutting steel like and you can turn them around there's like four sides on them we'll just have a look at what it does it has been used first time the other day Jack put some detailing on this see this chamfer around the edge puts a lovely little chamfer perfect all the way around you can put that it's maximum it will cut that uh, you can have it less than that because it's got a little uh, indexing head on it so you can wind it up and down. It will go for less of a chamfer. So I thought on here, instead of just having my Aris on there, sharp Aris, we'll use that and we'll detail it with that. And there it is. It's a little air tool. It's an airline. Trigger on top. There's the cutter. You can just see the cutting edges stuck out there. Well this, so it's got a scale on it. You can undo an Allen screw there. You can wind that out. That's at its maximum depth now, which is a fair amount to cut off a bit of steel. So you, you can turn that out and lessen that. If you want less of an edge. it folks one nicely finished edge machined edge you'll not get a finish as good as that with a soft pad that is the finish there's not a burr anything that is smooth as a baby's bootock uh, just gives a nice completed look to the job looks like we knew what we were doing that is on its limits that little machine that's a you know it's only a little one you can get big ones you can get ones where you uh, that will prep steel for weld preps and everything they'll take a load of steel off that that's on its limits for big lumps of steel like that back up top now so what we need to do you get the shape of that camber. We need to put a stop on it across there. So I've got that bit of wood and I'm going to trace the outline of that camber on it and then cut that out in steel. Clearance. So that's the shape. 
and we'll get that cut out. up with a clamp and that'll be great that so what I need now is I want some steel in there each side and on the end of here we want some steel keep that in line so I'll get some bits cut and we're going to get this welded. We're spragged up, everything's in place. We've got this end welded with the blocks. I'll we'll put the blocks in the other end. So that will help counteract any pull of the weld. We've got a sprag across top. We've got that middle uh, division there. That'll help stop it. And we'll work our way around to try to eliminate any uh, pull of the weld and deforming it. We'll not just go from one end to other, else we'll end up with a snake. So, that's it. Final answer. Get it done. again so I have extended those up because now when they go on there to allow me to get a bolt through further up so you ain't got that bending action probably didn't need it but we'll do it that's it then folks the hatch is on cleaned it up we'll have a quick look Settled Another job out at way. It uh, took a bit of doing that because I've never made one before, but it's uh, we've got there in the end, don't we? Persevere. So that's it, folks. End of that one. Uh, for two wheels, the stop plates to put on. If you want to tap them. That's it. Obviously, then uh, all the internals on that, the internals of it all, they're all done with timber. So that's the uh, when we get onto woodwork, which won't be long. All right. Anyway, that's it. So thanks everybody for watching and 
liking, subscribing and leaving comments and that. I do appreciate it. It's uh, nice to hear what people think about the job. So, anyway, I'm going now. Going for a beer. It's a nice sunny tea time. We'll have a beer on my own. See you all. Ciao.